How do I add those blue lines or GPS tracks to Sotlas? When researching summits one day, I noticed there were blue GPS tracks added by Josh, WU7H. These tracks clearly showed the path that he and Whiskey Whiskey 7 Delta had taken. I had looked at activating the summit before and had driven to two different gates as potential starting points, but I didn't know the best track to take to the summit and initially held off on activating. Along with the GPS route shown on the map, there is additional information including a short description, distance, gain, and the ability to download the track yourself. Josh, WU7H, mentioned this was an easy thing to add, and I pretty quickly went and added tracks from some of my prior activations. So how do I add this so other activators have this helpful information? For this example, I'll use all trails. I've brought up the summit hike that I want to upload to Sotlas, and I'm downloading the route as a GPX file. The second step involves uploading this track to the SOTA mapping website. To get there, go to the main Summits on the Air webpage and click on the Mapping Quick Link. You'll need to log in using your main SOTA account and password. Now that I've logged in, go to the top Mapping drop-down and click on the Tracks Mapping page. From the drop-down menus along the top, choose the summit you want to upload the tracks for. First select the association, in this case Washington, Region, in this case Whatcom County, and then the summit, North Chuckanut. With the summit chosen, just below to the left there are three tabs, View Tracks, Draw Track, and Upload Track. If you don't have a file to upload, there is the ability to draw a GPS track. Since this video will be focusing on uploading a file we already have, click on the Upload Track. Then click Choose File and find the .gpx file that you've previously downloaded. With GPS tracking points loaded to the SOTA mapping website, we can look at the tracks that have been uploaded and make adjustments as needed. In this case, my track didn't follow the trail as closely, and so to clean up the track, I'll move the GPS points a little bit to follow the trail. To move a GPS point, you click and drag the point. Double-click a point if you want to delete it. Clicking on the track will create a new GPS point. I found this to be useful for being more precise when my track didn't quite have as many points as I wanted. Now that I've made the GPS track changes that I wanted, click on the import button. This will bring up a new section showing the summit we are uploading tracks for. Our next step is to add a track title. Sometimes there are various options for reaching a summit, and so I try and be clear and simple. This summit had two little viewpoints, so I'll mention that in the description. Next, you have room to add some helpful notes about the track. For this track, I'll mention the trailhead used, that no parking pass was required, and a few other notes that stood out about the trail. When you're done with the track title and track notes, clicking on the Save button will finish uploading the track. And there's a message saying the track was saved. Close this Track Title and Notes box. Lastly, let's go back to the Sotless page for North Chuckanut Mountain. Prior to loading these tracks, there was no visual way to see the trail used or the ability to download any tracks. Since we've updated them via the SOTA Mapping website, let's refresh the webpage. In the Route section below, we can now see our track title with comments, distance, and gain information. And we can see the track visible on the map. The track is changed from blue to red to highlight the GPS track selected. I've seen GPS tracks for SOTA summits located in various places, and believe loading them to the SOTA mapping website and having them visible and downloadable from Sotless is the best solution for sharing with us all. There is much more to the SOTA mapping website and something you may want to research more as well. If you activate a summit and don't see any tracks, thank you for taking a few extra minutes to share with others. Thanks again, and 7-3 from WA7JNJ.